are you are you happy with the success of Hospice at Home? Yeah, really happy with it. The service has been running for quite a while now, five years in fact, and um, it's helped a lot of people. It's made a big difference to the way that we work at the hospice as well. It means that we can now make patient choice far more than we used to be able to, and that's becoming increasingly important. And also the service works as a holding operation. We've only got eight beds at the hospice, so they can hold patients out in the community till we've got room to bring them in. That really makes a big difference to the care we can afford to our patients. Okay, that's quite a surprising statistic. That there's only eight beds at the hospice. I think I, when I first came here, I was under the impression there might be 36, 40. Well, that would be nice in some ways, but not in others. Um, we work very hard to keep as many patients as we can coming through those beds. We actually operate above national statistics, um, but it is very hard work to do that. So the hospice at home being there as well, gives us that added bonus. And you serve, it must be 360,000 people in, in, in the community. It, it, that must be quite a challenge. It is, but we've got a very dedicated team. Um, we've got some very good flexible ways of working so that we can do as much as we can. We work very closely with colleagues in the network. Um, we do the best we can with the resources that we've got, basically. Five years' time, five years' time, where do you see yourselves? Well, I think if we look back five years, we've had some tremendous changes, lots of new services, um, and I see that continuing, possibly not at quite the same rate but very much altering our services so that they really meet the needs of our community, the individual needs of our patients. So there will be some changes to our services, but I guess the biggest challenge will be how we accommodate those changes. We are very tight of space at the hospice. So that will probably be our biggest challenge, and that's what we'll be working on over the next five years. And the, the room in which we're in today, um, very much like a, has a Nordic feel to it. Can you tell us a little bit about this room? This is our new complementary therapy suite. Um, it's been provided with trust funding and it means that we can provide more complementary therapies to carers and to patients. And it's proving very popular, it's very um, therapeutic and it's lovely for the creative, uh, the complementary therapists to have a dedicated room which they haven't previously had.